looking at uh, what has to be one of the very nicest 1959 rear four doors left on the planet. This is a car that is uh, an original car. It has not been restored. Uh, it spent the last 35 years of its life in Minnesota in a climate controlled garage. There have only been two owners for this car in its entire history since being manufactured in 1959. I'm going to take you around the car and show you pretty much everything here so you get an idea of what kind of quality you're looking at. Keep in mind as we go around the car that you're looking at a car that has not been restored. The chrome bumpers front and rear, beautiful. On the actual bumpers themselves there's no pitting. On the extensions there's just the beginning of, uh, of a few very light pits as you can see there. Now, I want to try and show you the side of the car. As you look down the sides of this car what is incredible is that after all these years it is still straight as an arrow. This is a car that has not been in any accidents. The car was painted one time about 40 years ago to the best recollection of the second owner. It was painted in what was then industry standard at the time, baked enamel. A nice paint job and uh, 40 years after it was painted you can see the quality that went into it because it still looks just fine. As we look at the rear, massive rear bumper, you can see the quality here as well. Again, on the actual bumper itself, there's no pitting. We'll go across the entire back. The pitting the slight pitting that there is on the back is only on the top strip, which is actually a, uh, a molding on the back of the trunk. There is very light pitting there. Now we get a look at the right side of the vehicle. Again, it's, it's perfectly straight. It's, it's just an amazing automobile. Again, if you go around the car and look at all of the chrome trim and bright work, you can see that it's in amazing original condition. Door handles, close to perfect. Now we'll look at the, uh, the window trim, the chrome that goes around the windows and above the windows you'd be hard pressed to find a flaw or a pit there as well even down here the original windshield wipers and uh, chrome trim surrounding the windshield just exquisite Look at the side from this angle. Try to zoom in a little bit. You can see how incredibly straight the car is. Look at the headlights and the trim surrounding the headlights. A couple of scratches toward the middle of the bumper. That's about it. And back here to give you an idea of some of the closer work. There's a. We're looking now to at both the uh, right rear fender skirt and the door jam. While we're here, we'll get a peek at the interior. This interior, remember, is completely original. Original seats, which are leather and kind of a brocade cloth. A beautiful 
uh, beige inlaid with gold. Take a look at the rear. Carpeting. Door panels, just gorgeous. Now I'll open the front. And you get a peek in here at the, at the front seat. This again is original leather and original cloth brocade, gold and beige. This is one of the more incredible parts about this car, the, the dash. Uh, the dash trim, the dash pad is, uh, is straight, it's got no cracks, um, and, and no sagging. Most of these cars, most of these 58 through 60 Lincolns had bad sagging in the middle of the dash, and uh, as you can see, this one has escaped the ravages of time in that aspect as well. Beautiful instrument panel. Steering wheel is um, about as nice as it gets for a 53-year-old car. The Bakelite and plastic chrome trim on the wheel is nothing short of perfect. Now the, the chrome bright work on the dash, just about perfect. And the painted parts of the dash as well appear as new. There's your town and country radio. And uh, this, by the way, is that's an owner's manual with a 59. Uh, the seat belts, by the way, are original to this car. They are original Ford Motor Company seat belts originally installed in this Lincoln. Here's your uh, Lincoln floor mats. And we'll show you the carpet. Actually, we'll pull this out. Carpet's a a absolutely beautiful. Now we want to get a look at, at some of the other parts of the car. This uh, next part that I'm going to show you is, uh, is amazing. If you've seen these cars if you've been looking for one of these, you know there, there, there are almost none left with the original trunk material. This car has its original trunk material. Its original uh, printed mats and cardboard sides. Even the covers to the hinges are still here and still original. There's the original jack and instructions. There's the spare with its cover, still original. It's an amazing, amazing original car. Now, we're gonna take a look at the engine. This car uh, comes equipped with its original engine. It has not been rebuilt. Go in here and Pull on the hood release. This is a 430 cubic inch Lincoln V8, original to the car. As you can see, the engine compartment is, is quite clean. Car is equipped with factory air conditioning. Not blowing cold at this time, but all of the doors, the, uh, the AC and heater doors, open and close as they should, directing three speeds of air out of the dash, the 
below the dash and to the defroster outlets based on where you put the selector. The car is equipped with, of course, power steering, power brakes, power windows, power seat. It has, um, and I'm not sure if this was standard or optional to the car, but you'll see this cool little thing in the dash. This is a device that uh, automatically shifts your headlights from bright to normal mode. It's got a, a light sensor. Normal mode would be brights, and then as the car, as this device senses lights coming toward it from another vehicle, it automatically shifts from bright to regular. All right, there you have it. 1959 Lincoln Premier four-door, original, no rust, absolutely no body rust, and the car runs great. If you're interested in the car, please call 305-389-7666. That's 305-389-7666.